If the Yardman Arena was a city, there's a good chance Gail Allen would be the mayor holding city council in the corner of the rink. Uh, some of us will stand down b behind the wall and some people will call it the hot stove league and I think probably it's more like the cold stove, <laughs> stove league, but talking about the game and, and the players and, and other things in our life, maybe when we played ball together and think different things like that. By his own count, Gail has only missed four or five games over the years and was there right from the start. We've sat at the top of section four, uh, 15 and 16 are Lynn's eight and mine since day one. Over that time, Gail has seen many other season ticket holders come and go around him. The good news is you, you f meet some um, nice new people and become good acquaintances with them. The bad news is uh, time, when time marches on, so life goes and, and we've had some very close friends uh, pass on all around us over the time. For 15 of those years, Gail walked two miles to the arena every night and has seen his fair share of Bulls wins. But it isn't all about winning. The, the main thing is the, the contribution of each and every player over all those years, including today's young boys or men and uh, it's so appreciative to see their effort. As a principal, the Bulls were often the common bond with school children. Oh boy, when you ever mentioned the word Belleville Bulls or having a Belleville Bull come to the school, uh, the kids, well, they would remember that far longer and far better than in the best math lesson you ever taught them, that's for sure. For more information about the Hounslow Award or to cast your vote for Gail Allen, please visit the Bulls website at www.bellevillebulls.com.